Leading Action to help people who are simply fed up with this. Ronnie Dahl is live in Southwest Detroit with more on what's being done. Ronnie. Yeah, and unfortunately, it took us getting involved to get something done with this problem real quick. A city crew just arrived here within the last few minutes to start cleaning up this mess. But for one resident, he has been calling for weeks and months, and this started out as one little problem that has continued to grow over time, and now everyone seems to be dumping here. Two summers ago, this was a very clean alley. James Rios wants to believe in a better Detroit for him and his extended family is home. My brothers and sisters are teachers here. My brother's a Detroit police officer here. You know, I run my phone business out of here. You know, we, we're here. We pay our taxes. But this is what he has to put up with, a growing garbage pile just a few houses away from where he lives. When the snow melted and I turned the corner and I saw what had accumulated over the winter, I was appalled. It's, it's, it's horrific. New piles just pop up every every day. We got tires. We got furniture. We got construction debris, grass, bed bugs, lice, fleas. You know, whatever's in there. It's just it's a problem. But it didn't used to be, and it doesn't have to be. The neighborhood near Navy Street and Central is filled with hardworking residents that care for their properties. But Rio says when a trash bin in the alley for a multi-family residence caught fire two years ago and was never replaced, the dumping began and has now become a daily problem. You weren't going to dump your trash back here, were you? What started in the alley has spread to backyards and street corners. It's frustrating, you know, especially uh, the nice days the neighborhood kids are out here playing and they're dodging the trash. When I contacted the mayor's office, guess who showed up? An environmental inspector. Thank you for coming out. All right, thank you. First step in getting this mess cleaned up. And so you can see right now that process is underway. It looks like he's clearing the alley, and then hopefully a crew will be coming out to uh, get all of this trash out of here because I can tell you it's not a pretty sight. Nothing you want to uh, live next to. Real quick, though, just to let you know, why has James been fighting this? Well, he doesn't want to live next to it, but he has contacted the Department of Public Works along with the Detroit Police Department. They came here and cleared away the stolen vehicles, but then he turned to his elected leaders, Rashida Tlaib's office, and then Councilwoman Lopez. This is her district. And then he even went to the mayor's office. All of that, no action, until he called Channel 7. For now, we're live in southwest Detroit. Back to you. All right, Ronnie, thank you for that, because no one wants to live like no, that. No, absolutely not. Good work, as always.